And what was girls? Welcome to Bench Hard Time for Classic and uh, welcome to Scarlet Nexus, a game developed by Toze and Bandai Namco Entertainment. It is using Unreal Engine 4 and my objective today it is to see how does it run on the MX130. So this is the graphical settings. I'm running the game with 720p using TXAA and using median settings, but I do recommend you to put the texture quality on high since texture quality in this game stands for an isotropic filtering. So looking to the results, this game it is not very scalable, so all the free presets uh, run more and less the same. So the difference between high and median, it is actually very small if you look to the average and 1% lows. And the low settings, it does actually improve a little bit with an, uh, close to an extra of 8 frames per second on the average. And also 1% low, it is like 6 frames better. So, good news. But the question might be for you, what's the difference in between all these uh, free settings? Uh, the biggest thing I did notice it was on texture quality on the anisotropic filtering, which makes a difference, but as you know, anisotropic filtering, it isn't really demanding. Shadow quality, I didn't notice a thing. And also, uh, post-processing it was where I've noticed the most so for example from low to median you can see the inclusion of motion blur per object motion blur during the cutscenes and also depths of field which is in existence on the low settings during the cutscenes and the difference from median to high I have absolutely no idea but what I've noticed it was during the cutscenes the depths of field are way more stronger and higher quality and thus because of that same reason it gets more demanding so performance wise that's all that you can expect i mean during these early moments of the game during this uh, what i did benchmark it was a little bit of open world cutscenes fighting so i tried to mix it all up so that uh, you have an idea of the performance that you will get in each moment. But this was just in these early moments of the game. I have no idea how the game would perform uh, a little bit more forward into it. But all I can say is that whatever the settings you go with, even the low settings, it does look absolutely great. Because with the low settings you still retain all the visuals, I mean the shadows, you still retain the screen space reflections and all the reflections on the floor. Like as you told you, the, the only thing that I really noticed the difference it was during the cutscenes because of the motion blur and depth of field. Because all the rest I didn't notice too much of a difference aside from the anisotropic filtering. But as you know, that's not really demanding at all. You can go from low to high with a cost of 1 frame per second if that much. So... Yeah, that's it. I think the game looks great whatever the settings you go with. But uh, in this specific case, I do feel that the median settings it is the way to go. Using 720p, using TXAA and using texture quality on eye because of the reasons I did specify. But if more forward into the game you start to get drops in frame rate, don't be shy and don't have don't be afraid of dropping to low because it will it will be fine anyway graphically the low settings on this game looks pretty good so with this uh that's all that i want to talk about the performance let's talk a little bit now about the game so the first thing i want to tell about scarlet nexus is its visual art style and its graphics i mean well the cutscenes of this game the real time cutscenes and Simply the animation stuff, uh, the, the art style of the open world map, it's just, the visuals are just great. I mean, it's not really the best in the world graphics out there, and it's not really about it. It's really the art style. It is simply great. I really like what I'm seeing in here on the cutscenes and everything. I'm not really a fan of the static image cutscenes, but the real-time cutscenes are simply amazing, in my opinion. It looks like a really good anime that I'm watching on the TV, and I usually don't watch this kind of stuff. So, <laughs> it's really great. This is my opinion overall. The visual artistic style, everything about the visuals in this game, it just nails it, all right? This is just my opinion. When it comes to the opinion of the others that played much more of the game than me, uh, people reference that the gameplay it is king in this game. Gameplay it is everything. 
So it is kind of an hack and slash and you have psychokinesis uh, types of attacks and you will unlock tons of stuff which will make the combat very very interesting according to what I've seen so far from what I've reading on online. It's really good. Now, the things that I do enjoy the most, I mean, the cutscenes and story and the visual art style. The visual art style will continue throughout the game, but the, they say that the story eventually will fall apart a lot. It starts to get confusing and it starts to fall short entirely. So, this is one of the warnings that I've seen about the game. It is really the story is not as good as we were expecting. And, well, there is also other thing that isn't as good. The side content that this game have, they say that they are, it's just fillers. It's not going to change anything in game. It's not going to modify you or anything. It's just, it's, they are just fillers. They are just there just to uh, take you time inside the world of the game. And, well, that's about it according to reviewers out there. Now, this game, it is a full price game, so it should cost you on Steam $59.99, so it's super expensive. And it should last you for about, on average, between 20 to 25 hours, assuming that you will be doing some grinding and that you will fulfill some side content. I believe you will need to do it anyway to beat some of the bosses, maybe, because if you don't do it, you might be very low level or not have the enough skill to beat some of the bosses or some of the enemies, so... Probably this is what you're going to last mostly between 20 to 25 hours But if it's if it's not really the case of this game and you can do just the only main stuff of the game I'm assuming that this is going to last much less than 20 hours. So it's not really a big big game But uh, for me, I would say this this is the The type of hours that I do enjoy in game. I don't like games with 100 hours or more I like games more you know, more in between. Not very small, unless they are very focused action games or indies, but not as big because I might grow tired of it. So, Scarlet Nexus have this duration according to them, and I guess that's all that I want to talk about Scarlet Nexus. So, hope you've enjoyed the rest of the, the, the video. That's it. Thank you a lot for watching, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Please, hurry to the shelter. Ye yes, ma'am. Thank you. There's still another left. You ready? Yes. We have to make sure no one else gets hurt. Let's eradicate it. I wonder how many others there are. I don't know. Don't let your guard down. We'll take them out as we find them. Got it. It's them! The guys I saw at Simuragi tomb! <gasps> Ten seconds from now... Yeah, they're in trouble. Even I can tell. Take care of the guy who got knocked down just now. I can handle that other alone. Got it. That's odd. You a civilian? Huh? It's her. 
<sighs> You're OSF? Oh, no, I'm a cadet. I see. Either way, our goal is the same. What do you mean, goal? Are you an idiot? Huh? Shh. Something's coming. Huh? What's coming? Here we go. Huh? Okay. Let's talk after we take out the others. <laughs> 